Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Marcia Clark is here to tell you that her granddaughter, who is now 14 years and six months, came to her via her parents 14 years and six months ago. That means that she took care, Marcia took care of that child from the time she was a baby. The parents were not in a place to even have children. The father was financially strapped and he went back to the country of his birth. Her daughter was in and out of homes and in and out of wherever, never having a job, never having a job. So Marcia was the caretaker of the 14 year old child. Now, when it came to a school where the child can go to the sixth form, the mother shows up and is trying to tell Marcia, the grandmother, where she wants the, the child to go and she doesn't want the child to go to what particular school and she's the mother. She didn't know she was the mother 14 years ago. She, she never gave Marcia money for the child. Okay, that's what Marcia is saying on Facebook. She has put it public. It has gone public. Okay, so she sent it to me in my chat for me to put it up on Naked Departure. I'm going to put it on YouTube. Now, she shows up at Marcia's house. Now, her daughter shows up at her house with the red stripe talking about kidnapping and talking about, you know, giving the child back to the mother and, and whatever else. But anyhow, the child was taken from her. The child was taken from her. She went to the child care board Tuesday morning and she said she was thrown out even before she could finish talking. She was thrown out. Now, in what world, in what world do you abandon a child? Abandon a child and the grandmother, this is a maternal grandmother now. There's not a stranger that the child is calling grandmother. This is a grandmother, grandmother. The grandmother is taking care of the child. In what world do you give it to a person who has no job, have no house, living with some guy, you know, the child is new to the guy and you, you, you know what happens when you bring a child in a situation and the man in the picture is not the father of the child. I don't have to, I don't have to like say, you know what happens, the, the child is instantly in some sort of danger. You need to be very careful with those situations. Now, the mother, the grandmother is saying, there's no privacy, no chairs to sit on. Do you know what it is not to have a chair to sit on? Have you ever moved into a house and you're painting it and you're getting it together, but there's no chair to sit on? You have to sit on the floor to eat and you have to lay it. It is uncomfortable. It's not a good situation. So there are, there are no chairs in the house, no privacy for the child. Now the child is crying saying she's scared. Why? Because the mother doesn't know how to deal with her. She never had to. She never did. So this is what the situation is in Barbados. So Marcia contacted me. She wants me to put it up. I've said to you numerous times, I'm going to say more in the future, stop having children that you can't afford to have. Stop bringing children into the world under an umbrella of poverty. Stop, stop doing it. Stop doing it. Okay? You are damaging the child. You are putting pressure on people that shouldn't have that responsibility. But what, you, what is the grandmother going to say? No, I can't take care of the baby. When she, she knew. She knew the condition her daughter was in. She knew she could not say no. And the guy is gone, gone for the hill, run for the hills. She knows the condition that that child would have been in had she not taken that child. And she did. She did. Now the red stripe are coming in a truck. You know, they're, they're trying to scare you. Well, they're very scary to me. And, and telling her about using the word kidnap. How could you have kidnapped a child that was abandoned and brought to your steps and you're the grandmother? How, how, how does that work? How does it work? Well, how is the 
the child care board allowing the child to stay in a situation where she doesn't have a bedroom, the mother doesn't have a home, the mother doesn't have a job. How is this? How is this possible? How would these see these? Who is it? The child care board, CCB. How would they allow a mother who has no job to take to take a fourteen year old? How? Now I'm putting out. I'm putting this out there. And let's see what happens. Let's see how Barbadians react to this. Let's see what happens. And I wish Marcia Clark the best in getting that child back to the home, the only home it knows. And in time, when that child grows up, it will, because right now it's emotions and it's still young, still young, but the child will be able to fit everything in its mind and come up with very good conclusions and you know i think you're going to be okay in the long run marcia i think you're going to be okay in the long run but um in the meanwhile just hope that everything that happens quickly happens for the benefit or in the best interest of the child this is sherry veronica